Welcome. I'm going to give you now a quick introduction of my course, Functional Programming Principles in Scala, and tell you how we are going to organize it. As usual, the course will consist of a sequence of videos, which will introduce the elements of the course one by one. And the videos will also have quizzes, where you are asked to fill in some questions. Those questions could be multiple choice, or also, quite often, we ask you to program something. After the quizzes, you will always see the answer in the videos. Besides the quizzes, there are also assignments, the, the assignments you have to hand in, uh, and you are going to be graded on the assignments, and if you pass the assignments, then you will get a certificate at the end of the course. The quizzes, by contrast, they are just for your own education. You're not going to be graded on them. There's a timeline for the course. You can expect a new set of videos every Tuesday morning and including a new assignment and you will have one week to hand in the assignments or the assignments will have to be handed in Monday night the following week. We're going to use for the programming in the course the Eclipse IDE, Integrated Development Environment, and I will show you later on how you can download the IDE and how you can install it. Uh, there's also another tool we need for handing in the assignments that's called SBT, the Scala Build Tool. Again, we will go through the details how to get and install SPT. Okay, once you are on the site, the first thing you could do is go to Tools Setup. Here you'll see detailed setup instructions how to set up Eclipse and SPT for all the major operating systems, Windows, Mac OS and Linux. You could also simplify your life simply by looking at one of the three videos that tell you exactly what to do to get started. Once you've done that, you could go next to Assignments, get it going to get started in the Assignments, and there you see an example assignment which is optional. Uh, we will grade it, but it won't count towards your points for the course. Uh, that essentially takes you through the steps of uh, drafting an assign uh, drafting an, an exercise, submitting your solution to the assignment, so that then when we start with the real assignments, you already know all the mechanics for that. That's all there is to know for now. Have fun with the course and the assignments.